Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you another beautiful fabric and face mask. Look at this, a Japanese doll. I purchased this online, everyone. Check everything, the measurement, the uh, material. Please go up to my description and check information there. I have the fabric here, full, okay, 12 inch. 7 by 12 so 7 in by 12 in okay. so now the fabric after the fold will be 7 by 12 and i'm going to fold one more time so i can get the center okay so i fold one more time i'm going to iron it so i can just uh, make sure that divide into two okay so now that is half in half right there okay so if you can see the line right in the middle that is the guide for me to measure my suggestion please watch the video before you do everything else okay so this is the full line and this is the full line of the two pieces together like this okay on the side on each side of here okay i need to measure three inch up okay so three inch and mark the line right there okay that from here to here that three inch same thing to this one three inch and you mark the line right there okay so both side is three and three at the, on the three inch here where the three inch that we mark you go on to bring it in one and a half inch mark one and half inch everybody you can make the line okay same thing to here one and half inch oh my god i didn't even draw the line i took this the ruler away that's crazy okay so that it's one and half inch one and half inch okay on the two corner right here i need you to bring half an inch so mark half an inch everyone okay so they're half an inch right there okay same thing to the other side half an inch on the side okay everybody right in the center here where the 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 full line right here i need you to bring down to one in and a quarter right there one in and a quarter right there okay so one in and a quarter that's long down my channel and start yelling from here this three four up an inch you go on to connect this line together like this and make a v that's my signature right there okay you see that and now from this line right there that we just marked earlier we go on to join this line right there now you can see okay you go on to get the pot lick i'm using the pot lick size 10. okay i'm going to show you when i put the pot lick down this right here it get into that center right there okay it touching right here at the at the line 
okay and this is right here touching the light move it up a little bit so i can get the full circle right here now i'm going to connect this light together okay just connect this light remember you have to place the pot lid right on that line where you mark the three um a one and a half inch right there and then connect this together you see when it meet one and a half inch right there and one and a half inch in the other side both side right there okay All right, i'm taking that off so that's gonna look like this now it's going to look like this you see all that line here you're going to cut it cut okay okay so now that that's it for the cutting and this look like this okay now I'm, i can take the pen out so pretty the fabric now i'm going to fold this left to left i mean right to right the right side to the right side okay you see the v that we cut earlier you go going to sew this line in for me same thing to the other one you're going to sew the the line okay so i sew one line in you know and it looks like this when you're done now i'm going to sew the other line okay you do the same thing too so this line okay, in. so now everyone after i finish sewing this the v line in together okay so i'm going to inside out okay i'm going to leave the the inside out like that in the other one it's going to be the inside touching the inside just like this okay make sure it's nice and even i'm going to use the clip and i'm going to clip this line together i'm always use the clip i just make sure everything nice okay now everything okay now what i need you to do i need you to sew a quarter up and in this line in all the way around here all the outline here to here to here and all the way here all the way here okay we're going to sew it's going to be a lot of sewing but let me just start from here so i can show you i'm going to start about an inch away from here and then i'm going to leave an inch and a half or two in for the filter pocket okay so i'm going to go from here i'm going to sew from the the ear loop right here i'm going to sew that in i'm going to go back stick right there and then i'm start sewing all the way i'm going to sew this line in make sure you hold your hand there so you can get everything in here so this line in everyone i would do about an inch and then i'm going to stop and for the filter pocket that's my kid talking the other day when they talk and then some people tell them to be quiet that was so sad some people tell them to be quiet that is heartbroken okay so now i sew from here to here about an inch everyone i'm going to leave about an inch and a half so i would say two inch I mean, in half, it's too little. So two inch. I'm going to leave two in for the filter pocket from there to there. Okay, that's good enough for you to put the filter in there. 
And so now continue to sew. That's the only thing that I want to show you right there. That when you stop and then go here to two inch and then continue to sew. But it from here you are going to do a few loop because this way you open and close many times for the for the filter. Okay, now I'm going to show you. Okay, so now this is the filter pocket right there that we're going to leave two inch. You're going to sew all the way, all the way to here, to here, all the way to this curved side, to here and close. Okay, so go all the way, everybody. Okay, so everyone, look at this. I finished sewing the line, like I told you, here all the way, all around the outline here, to here, and then we start put two in for the filter pocket. Okay, now, so we're in the filter pocket right here. I'm going to inside out. So put your hand in there and then try to get more out. Make sure you after each use of your face map, you have to watch your face map, everyone, and change the filter. Okay. And also, when you buy your fabric, at the store when you bring it home make sure you watch and you dry it in the dryer because you never know what happened at the st at the store where they store it or you know it for safety matter just please do so okay let's get into this right here Okay, so now after everything pressed down, I'm going to use the iron. I'm going to iron the line down, everyone. So get your iron ready. Just go onto the line where you sew everywhere. Oh my goodness, this is so adorable. The fabric is so pretty. When I place in that face mat like this, okay, from this corner right here, right here where the ear loop right there, you're gonna measure up here that three inch and then mark the line. Okay, so three inch everyone. So right the corner right here, that is say three and it's up here, it's right here. I'm going to mark the dark right there. Okay, and now to the outside too, this side the same, both sides, every one, three inch. Right there. Okay, so you can see from here to here, from the ear side, ear, the ear loop thing, where's the curve, that three inch, and that three inch. Now, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to half an inch right there. I'm going to sew the line with the elastic in there. So let me just go around and make sure they're half an inch the line around. Right there, I can just mark the light, very light, so you can see. I have a fabric marker, I don't know where I put it, downstairs probably. Okay, so now I'm going to show you. This is the light that I show, okay? Okay, I have the small safety pin right here i'm going to place it in okay this side this end of the elastic going to be the like this when you brace it in so it's inside the filter pocket you can see but when you place it in there it's going to be in like this this side it's moving forward it moved to the left this one you're going to sew it in but i'm going to show you when i'm going to put it in here in the filter pocket 
and I'm going to make sure I get the other end, the other side of the safety pin. And I'm going to hold on to it. I'm going to sew it in, in between the line that we, um, we mark. So now you place, I place my needle right in there already. Okay, in between this pocket right there. And I'm going to pull. In the meantime, I'm holding on to the elastic right here. It's the end of the elastic right here and the safety pin is right here. I'm going to move that as um, I sew. So now I have the elastic right here. I'm going to sew it into this line to do a back stitch. But I'm sewing this way. Okay, so now I'm sewing this elastic into the face mat. So it one more time. Make sure it go through the elastic, everyone, okay? Very important. Okay, we want this to hold one end of the elastic and then we move forward. Now we're going down here. Just make sure you move the elastic away where you sew. So now you're going to move down to here. You already have the elastic in there. So you save and you're going to go to the line that you draw right down here. Then you can um, sew the straight line. Okay, so now I'm good. I'm going to turn around and I'm going to sew this line. The straight line all the way okay so let's sew with me you see this is the nice way you sew instead of moving forward you can turn around and go on like this looks so nice if you're doing this way Okay, so as you sew the whole line to the other side, everyone, okay? Make sure when you sew, you move your hand like this because this is the um, elastic in there in the safety pin. Make sure you don't sew on the elastic. You can just move like this. It will move in away for you, okay? Now get into this end right here. I'm going to move my dress up. And I'm going to close this line. And I'm going to sew right on the elastic right here. You can see a little right here. That's the elastic, everyone. Because we want the elastic to stay good there. The um, safety pin is right here. It's not hard at all if you follow the... Um, Direction if you can feel you stop the video and then you watch again. I Usually watch the whole video and then I come back. I watch the video and then I get information And then I go back And I watch again. It's the same time. I'm making it. So I'm gonna block this area. I'm going to go Up and down And I'm done don't worry about a fancy line that you sew or not because this, when it's coming like this, you can't even tell the difference anyway. We are here together. I'm no better than you. So we are here together, everyone. Okay, so let's go loop in here and then we're going to get out. And we are done and we're going to do the ear loop. That's it. I'm going to cut the thread. Bring it in half an inch, okay? Half an inch, you're gonna bring it in. This face mat, it's awesome because it go and goes to your ear too. It's really good. It's really good fit, and you're going to like it. So get your needle, go under the the fabric, trying to hide this. Now you're going to sew like normally. You do with me, okay? Three, 
for my kid. So when I do something like this, I don't pay attention to them. I let them play a game a little bit. So you know how kids all they play game and they talk. The lady the other day to tell me to keep my kid quiet. Oh my god, so sad. When I was little, my mom always told me before you say something, you have to think twice. Sometime more to see if that what you say, you satisfy, you happy for your what you say, but what about all the people feeling? So the loop here, everyone, do the loop. Okay, so loop can get out. We're going to do the other side. Then I'm going to show you how it fits in when you wear it. Super handy. This face mat, I love it. So I'm using the pantyhose for the ear loop. I am going to cut this string out for one inch, everyone. And I need to. But that's okay so one in for each everyone we will think i'm crazy but i usually cut it and then i tie the knot everyone because i don't like you know people do different if you see what i'm doing and you don't you do want to do different way it's fine but um i'm going to pull one of these out okay and i'm going to tie the knock at the end here you can put it in here the 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 elastic or pantyhole whatever you can put it in before like the whole circle when you when i cut the pantyhole you can put the whole circle and then you sew around so you don't have to tie this knot but I do this all the time and I get used to it. So you do it your way if you like. Um, I think this way I can do better when I sew. I don't have to worry about sew the pantyhose into the fabric. So, okay, you gotta do this today too. Okay, so I have the bead right here. I'm going to let the loop go through here, um, the needle uh, and then dress go through here. I'm not going to sew anything. I need this dress to support me to pull the, um, the pantyhole string through the bead. Hopefully it can go through. Okay. So I got it and I can let go the the dread here. I don't need it anymore, so I can just cut that. Okay, you make sure the two sides are good. Now this one right here, you can just tie the knot pull a little bit so you have more room so make sure this is nice and even then you tie the knot at the end so the bead don't fall out okay, look at this everyone how beautiful the door is there and plenty plenty of room here and the filter pocket is here when you put the filter in here it won't fall out because it go on to cover your chin here and this is the standard for the people who wear glasses okay so i'm going to put it on and i'm going to show you what it looks like the standard right here so you can bring it in and out put over like that this side the ear gonna go like this and then you go on to fix around it. 
Let's see, it did fit you. When you see everything is nice and fit, you're going to pull the thing in the back here just to make sure everything fit you nicely. The standard in the back here, I don't know if you can see it, it's right there with the beads here I pull. So look at this, it's covered all the way to the other side of your, on all the way to the back here, to your ear side too. I love the door. Look how, how pretty the door is. So pretty. Look at that everyone. My favorite. I like the park that it go all the way. Usually we stop right here. That's awesome. It's right here. Thank you so much for watching everybody. Please stay safe and take care.